Welcome, we are at the number nine mine, which is a plethora of information on anthracite mining in northeastern Pennsylvania. And for all of you that have heritage here, it'll be a great, great visit for you. Not only can you see a wonderful museum in one of the old wash sheds here on site, but there also is a mine tour. And you know, I can't really do that justice, but this gentleman right here can. He's in charge of the 250th anniversary of anthracite. So he's gonna tell us a little bit about the museum at the number nine mine and the uh, tour itself. Scott, thanks so much for being with us. Well, it's a pleasure, Chris. Uh, this is the Panther Valley, and it is part of the Pocono Mountains. And we have been mining here in the Panther Valley for 226 years continuously. It is Anthracite's longest mining continuity. And the number nine mine is a good way to get familiar with that history. We have the adjacent mine tour. We're in the Wash Shanty, which is our museum. We have great mining artifacts. And uh, wait till you see what the ride in the mine is like for all the tourists. And, yeah, and that's, that's really one of the things that we do want to see. But the artifacts here are just amazing. And we were just talking about how people in northeastern Pennsylvania and the Pocono Mountains save everything. So you know the, the, the inventory of the artifacts here. What do you think are the most fascinating ones? Well, certainly the tools with which we mined. And of course, it goes back through the continuity of the 160 years that mining's gone on at this particular mine. And uh, you can see everything in evolution that they started off with, and then the more modern equipment that we ended with in 1972 when the mine closed, this being the last deep mine in the Panther Valley to close. So, and, and I, I know a lot of people today talk about um, immigration, but that's a really old subject here in northeastern Pennsylvania, the Poconos, isn't it? Well, we as a people uh, have the unique uh, 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 honor of being truly the uh, melting pot that America is. And uh, because of mining, the labor needed for it, and the massive expansion of the anthracite industry back in the very early 1800s, uh, we have now a uh, collection of people who comprise our, eth our region who ethnically were from 70 plus countries of origin and over 110 different ethnicities. So it's interesting, Scott, very interesting. And we have, I think, time for about well, one more question. So for you um, and, and all the folks who are coming in now know nothing of anthracite mining or the heritage of our region, what would you tell them to be, the, what would you say, what's the first thing they, you think they should see? I think they should go underground in a mine tour because that's the essence of the origin of our cultural heritage here. And it's particularly important here in our 250th year of 2018. Thanks, Scott, so much. Uh, you're listening and watching PTN. This is Scott. He's with us here from Number 9 Mine. We'll be right back.